Howdy y'all, this is Reckless Raven, and welcome to another episode of Adam's Adventure. Last time we finally got the last of our creatures that were over on, over here trying to find that Baryna. We got them finally over onto this side, uh, back over here with the rest of the families to, um, get ready in the next... 10 days to hopefully move on to the next island. Um, <coughs> I am very excited for this because I, gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the Savannah. Uh, I just feel like we're barely surviving, barely scraping together here, so we're going to move on soon, and I will not miss this place. <coughs> okay, so, um, we're going to, um, look at what we're going to do to keep these guys moving and grooving, keep food stores not going down too, too much, and <clears throat> I want someone to come over to the ports and tell me, try to tell me how many we have. But first things first I want to deal with, we have a mole. Okay. Alright, that was three pieces of meat that we very much needed. I'm going ahead and collect up those things for us. Little baby Yana. Go ahead and have you try to gather those even though you're not going to get a whole lot out of them. You only have six days left. I'm looking at the creatures that I know aren't going to survive past when um, we're ready to go on to the next island and deciding who do I need to have meet before then. So like, Michael only has eight days left, Maya only has four days left, so she more than likely needs to move on soon. Um, or not move on soon. Needs to have another baby soon. Um, and I need to start deciding who I'm going to look into going on to the next island and who's had children. So let's see. Pinto, we're gonna have you come on over and try to light this space up for me. Looking at this, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Which tiles are my ports and which ones are just beside the ports. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna say we have at least 10 and maybe 12, but I do, I am willing to bet that we have at least 10. Um, we might put it by ranked of who we need to go the most and then go backwards from there. Hmm. I wish this were easier to decide how many ports I had, because I can't tell. I think this might be not, so maybe 10 to 11? That's, that's very hard to tell. These are definitely ports. Those two are definitely ports. I can't tell with this one. It looks kind of green. But it also looks yellow. I don't know. I'm 
gonna be sitting there doubting myself all day. Can't get any food from that, can you? Alright. Um since Meryl only has six days left, we're gonna go on ahead and let her go on ahead and have her first baby. Big ears and sticky tongue. And he got eyesight and the tail. Okay. And then we'll wait a bit and then have Leona have a baby. And then we'll go from there deciding who we'll do what with. Um, another one I wanted to consider was having Maya, since she's only got a little bit left, being with Fur. Um, he's got recessive purse now. I'll have to look into that in a bit. Mm, she could pass on the peacock tail. Big ears and that's about it. I am going to give him one slot of high fertility and her big ears. have the one child, so I think I'm just going to fill her with that and see if I can get her as close as possible. Right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and collect that up and I'll let you, Aspen, gather that. We'll have Damien is right in the middle of all this. help with the clearing of this and so can Juniper. Okay. And then my root collector. things in this place. Okay. That might be a root. I can't tell. No, it's not. I'll go ahead and clear out all three spaces of that grass. <laughs> she had enough strength to do that. Okay. Let's go on ahead and everyone is done. 
So we'll go on ahead and skip the day and see what we have happen. Okay. We had the music come back out and we had a new little baby. Sticky tongue is unfortunately recessive, but that's fine. Lean body recessive definitely has those, um, that tail fin. Um, let's see. My goodness. Oh, hang on. She should be yellow. Hang on. Maybe we'll be able to see it better as she gets older, but she has the mask pattern. And that pattern is on her just right, so it... Huge. That pattern is just right, so it is covering any markings she, she might have. Oh my goodness, little one. Alright. Because of that, we're gonna name her... Little Baby Dolphin. Alrighty, little one. Welcome to the tribe, little one. That is so cute. Okay. Wow. I was not expecting that. That's why her eyelids look so different. Right there. So the only thing we can see the yellow on is her eyelids. Wow. Very, very cute little baby. Alright. So let's see, um, other than the baby being born, I didn't hear anything going on. I don't know what I'm doing with my mouse going in and out like that. I see some more roots over here that's popped up. Now, 
chest. Went ahead and grab that. Let's let him take a break underneath the tree. Pinto, if I remember correctly, yes, Pinto has had a child. I don't have to worry about her as much, but I do need Willow hasn't had a child. Um, so I might have her have one baby just so I can try to get that cracker jaw to continue into whoever we're taking. I know Damien has it. But maybe we can get another. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, none of y'all have the strength to take that out. Collect me some bugs so that y'all can eat some more. Starting to regret taking out this berry bush. Okay. Cardinal, I don't even know what I'm doing with you right now. I haven't had Pinto on over. mother there. He's got the um, beautiful peacock tail. Okay, so let's see. Big ears recessive, which I am not upset with. Toxic body recessive, that's nice. Um, only has the peacock tail, digging paw, and nimble fingers. He's a good all-around baby that is a good indicator of what most of our creatures have been so far. Uh, 
goodness. Getting this up close and personal to the peacock tail, being able to see those little peacock feather patterns on them is so cool. And then seeing the stripes on the back. It's like, uh, yes, I'm talking about you. Hi. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't. What is name? I did not need you, little babies. Who am I gonna name you? Let's see. I'm naming list. his purse now to go under though. But we do have that in our inactives, not inactives, in our mutation menu, so that won't be an issue, but I do need, we did, right? Do we have purse now? We do not. Ooh. Okay then. But we do have a few purse now creatures. Keep that cracker jaw a little bit more. Don't you have cracker jaw recessive? No, you have purge that recessive. Who am I still thinking of having Damien? Damien got the cracker jaw. Okay. I'm gonna stop thinking about it. Their immunities line up. She needs to have, they both need to have at least one child. I don't think either of them has. Yeah, Cardinal and Willow. So, it's fine. Um, but they have enough time, I can wait a little bit more. Um, let's see. Yeah. 
space. And it's hot enough that our big ear creatures are feeling the heat now. Well, some of them. Oh, you have the lead body. Okay. interesting to hear the names they come up with. Okay, and he actually has no pattern, so we can see the gorgeous yellow color that the that little baby dolphin was supposed to have. Okay, um, let's see, he didn't get the, um, didn't get the big ears or the, um, that she got in the recessives. Um, he does have the big ears recessive, which I am glad to see. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Sorry, this had to. I had to look up something. This is going to be Tang. Not after the. There's a species of fish called the yellow tang. Um, so we're gonna go on ahead and name him after them. Welcome to the tribe, little one. You are absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to see what happens in your future. Hopefully you'll be able to see the ocean with 
that tail. Okay, so that is all that we're going to be able to do today. Unfortunately, we have enough creatures that we can only do a certain number of days, but we're not doing one day per turn. Again, that was that was not fun. Um, so we're going to continue here and there having a few babies as we continue to try to get our days, get through our days so that we can make sure that we have enough younger creatures going to the next island and it's a good compass or encompassing of the genetics that we have here. Um, I'm pretty sure that these two, Dolphin and Tang, are gonna be going. Um, pretty sure that little baby Maple is going to be going as well. So, very glad to be able to see where their stories are going to go in the future. Um, Saint or probably Mouse will also be going, or we'll try to see if we can have a baby with the Bergina Claw go as well. Um, but yeah, so leave me a comment down below, let me know what y'all think. Um, leave me naming suggestions to help with the names. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm grasping at straws half the time for names sometimes, so having you guys' name suggestions, um, I feel like some people might have ideas. I feel like a lot of people would have amazing ideas that I just would not think of on my own. Um, so leave me your comments and we will put your, you guys' names on the uh, creatures that we will have in the future. Um, leave a thumbs up to help these guys to survive those last seven days on to, um, on this island so we can get onto the next island soon, and subscribe to join me on seeing these guys get there, and seeing what's in store for their lineage and family trees in the future, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.